In this video, I will show you several Excel functions to help you clean up your text. And at the end, I'm going to throw in a bonus function that you may have never heard of or used before. Let's get started. So here I am in an Excel spreadsheet. I've got a list of companies. These are some of the biggest companies in the world. And you can see the list of companies here at the left has some problems. Somehow when I got this data, either the source didn't follow proper or typical spacing or case rules, like uppercase, lowercase, or sometimes something happens in the import process where the data may get mixed up or not interpreted properly. However this happened, I've ended up with a list of companies, yes, but your typical text rules have not been followed. So let's take a look at how to fix them. Let's start by fixing the spacing problems that we have here. So I'm going to click on cell B2 and type equals. So this cell equals, and I'm just gonna type in trim, left parenthesis, and then I'll either click on A2 or I could just type A2 in the cell. I should put in a right parenthesis, but I don't really have to. And then I'm going to tap enter on the keyboard and this formula now is going to trim out the extra spaces that may be at the beginning of this word and maybe after the word or between words, like in this case. So I'll tap enter and it fixed the problem. The extra spaces are gone. Now I can do the same thing for these other companies here. One of the quickest ways to do that though is to just select the first cell where the trim function has been used and then just double click on the autofill handle, this little green square in the lower right corner of the cell. So I'll double click on that and it applies that same formula all the way down the spreadsheet. Okay, this is an improvement. Next, let's look at how to convert what we see here into all lowercase letters. There are times when you just need lowercase and that's what you're looking for. So how would you do that? You would just go to cell C2, type equals lower, left parenthesis, and B2. This time I'm not gonna put in the right parenthesis. I'll tap enter on the keyboard, and then I can select C2, double click on the green square, and now all of those companies are in lowercase. Let's do the same thing, but for uppercase, equals upper, left parenthesis, C2, tap enter, and then I can click on Apple in this case, in D2, double click on the green square. Now all of the companies are in uppercase. I'm going to click and drag to highlight all of the column letters, and then I'll double click between any one of these columns just to space this out a little bit better. And this is nice. I've been able to get rid of the extra spaces. I've been able to make those company names all lowercase, all uppercase, which is very useful in certain circumstances. But what if I just want typical standard English rules for capitalization? Let's look now at how to make the capitalization proper. So here on cell E2, I'm going to click, I'll type equals proper, you probably guessed it, left parenthesis, and then I'll select Apple, D2, tap enter, and then I can click on E2, double click on the green square. And finally now I do have all of the companies with proper capitalization with no extra spaces. Let's look now at a bonus Excel function that sometimes comes in handy. We're going to see if this text that started out improper here at the left, all sorts of problems, we're going to see if it now matches the official company names that we have here at the right. So I'm going to click here on F2, type equals, exact, left parenthesis, and Excel gives us a hint here as to what to put next. Excel wants one piece of text, comma, and then another piece of text, and it's going to compare the two. So E2, I'm just going to click on that, comma, H2. I should put in my right parenthesis, tap enter on the keyboard, and Excel reports that that is true. These are equal. I'll just click on E2 and double click on the green square, the fill handle, and I can double click between F and G to make sure that that fits perfectly. And so now I can see most of the results match perfectly. They're almost all true. But there are a few that because of how I used the proper tool, the capitalization doesn't match up the official names of the companies. So here we have one, here we have one, the word of shouldn't have been capitalized, mobile should have been capitalized here. So that does expose some minor flaws in the use of the proper function. And this exact function has really helped to point out those little flaws. I'm going to undo much of what I've just done by holding control and tapping Z. I'm gonna do that a few times. 
because I want you to see that if instead of just making these changes in a regular Excel range, what if I had clicked and dragged and turned this data into a table or maybe just started with it as a table? In my case though, I'm going to convert that range that I've just selected to a table. Here on the Home tab in the Styles group, I have Format as Table and I'll just pick, let's say, Orange. My table does have headers. These are the headers here. I'll click OK and I'll double click between any two columns to make sure that the text fits within the columns. Now watch what happens. If I click here on B2 and type equals trim, left parenthesis, A2, tap enter, not only does it fix Apple, but it fixes all of the spacing all the way down my spreadsheet. Everything in the table is fixed automatically. So I didn't have to double click on the autofill handle. Same with lowercase, just tap enter, everything's fixed. Same with uppercase, proper, just tap enter, and also with exact. So that's a little added tip. If you want this to go faster, you can convert your data into a table. Thanks for watching this video on Excel functions to help clean up your text. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video, or you can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video.